division of polynomials. So here we're going to look at how we can divide um, polynomials with other polynomials. So our first question is going to be x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by x plus 3, where x cannot equal minus 3. Because if x equal minus 3, we'd be dividing by 0, which we can't have. So we're actually going to do this with long division. So we write our division sign. And this is our divisor, because it's in the denominator, which goes out the front. So we're going to have x plus 3. Our quotient in our numerator goes inside. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 in here. And to do this, we're going to have to repeat a few steps. So we're looking at this leading term in our divisor and the leading term in our quotient. And how many times does the leading term here go into this leading term here? Or another way to think about it is, what is this divided by this? Or another way to think about it is, what multiplied by this gives us this? And that's just going to be x. Because x times x gives us x squared. Our next step is to then multiply out our result by every term in our divisor. So x multiplied by x gives us x squared, and x multiplied by positive 3 gives us positive 3x. And if you've done this correctly, the leading terms should always match up. So the next step is to subtract our terms from each other. So we get x squared minus x squared, which actually gives us 0. Then we've got 7x minus 3x, which gives us 4x. Our final step is to bring down our next term, which is positive 12. And then we repeat the process with our result after we bring down. So how many times does this leading term go into this leading term? Or what do we need to multiply this by to get us to this? And that would be 4, so that goes up there. We then multiply out this result with every term in our divisor. So 4 multiplied by x gives us 4x. And 4 multiplied by positive 3 gives us positive 12. We then subtract our terms from each other. So 4x minus 4x gives us 0, and 12 minus 12 gives us 0, and there's nothing to bring down, so we've actually finished. And what this is saying when we get a result of 0 is that when we have this polynomial and we divide it by this polynomial, we get this with no remainder. And we can, re we can write this in a different way. If we think about 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, we can multiply both sides by 2 here. So we can say that 10 equals 5 times 2. Well, using a similar concept, we know that x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by x plus 3 gives us x plus 4. Our result from here. And multiplying both sides by x plus 3 they're going to cancel out so we can say that x squared plus 7x plus 12 is going to equal x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 3. And you can see we've now factorized that quadratic equation using division of polynomials. Let's look at another example. Let's have a look. We want to divide four x cubed minus nineteen x plus nine by two x minus three. 
So let's write it in long division form. And we're going to be pretty careful here because here we have a cubic polynomial, but it's missing the x squared term. So we're going to write it in with a zero coefficient, just so we don't get confused. So we're going to have 4x cubed plus 0x squared, because the x squared is missing, minus 19x plus 9, all divided by 2x minus 3. So how many times does this leading coefficient go into this leading coefficient? Or what do you need to multiply this by to get to this? And that'll be 2x squared. Then we're going to multiply out this by every term in our divisor. So we get 4x cubed minus 6x squared. And hopefully you can see the importance of including that x squared term, because when we go to subtract now, we've got it there ready for us. So we have 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is 0. Now, 0x squared minus minus 6x squared actually gives us positive 6x squared. And we bring down our next term of minus 19x and repeat the process. How many times does 2x go into 6x squared? Well, that would be 3x. Multiply out the 3x by every term in our divisor. So we get 6x squared minus 9x. Now we need to subtract 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0. Minus 19x minus minus 9x is 19, minus 19x plus 9x. So we're going to get minus 10x for that one. And bring down our next term, positive 9, and repeat the process. So how many times is this leading coefficient 2x go into minus 10x? Well, that would be minus 5. Multiply it out. So minus 5 multiplied by 2x gives us minus 10x. They should always match up. Minus 5 multiplied by minus 3 gives us positive 15. Do a subtraction. Minus 10x minus 10x. Sorry, minus 10x minus minus 10x goes. Then we have 9 minus 15, which is going to be minus 6. And this time we actually get a remainder. So when we get a remainder, we can write that our original polynomial of 4x cubed minus 19x plus 9 can be written as our, our dividend, our answer, 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 multiplied by our divisor, 2x minus 3, plus our remainder, or in this case, minus 6.